This Land of Legends Raceway 50-50 beneficiary interview is brought to you by Wicked Tees. Wicked Tees, for all your screen printing, embroidery, signs, vehicle wraps, trophies, awards, sublimation, and much more. Visit them on the World Wide Web at BigJimsWickedTees.com. Here with tonight's 50-50 beneficiary. Of course, remember, half the money goes to the crowd, half goes to a nonprofit group. And tonight, it's the Girl Scouts of Spencer Point. Here with us is Noelle Burley. She is the troop leader, and we have some of the troop back behind her as well. I understand your daughter is one of them. How are we doing today? Good. How are you today? Thank you so much for having us tonight. Burley, I would imagine you have some relatives in this racing game. That is correct. Both my husband and my brother-in-law have spent many years at this racetrack. And who's your husband? Chris Burley. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Todd would be the other one. That right? is correct. Yes. Okay. How'd you get fixed, hooked up with the Girl Scout? Uh, we have, I was a Girl Scout myself, oh, okay. yeah, many years ago, yep, and as my daughters were coming through, Girl Scouts is just a great organization. Yeah. They, we support the community, we do lots of projects that help the community, so I wanted them to be involved and to be helpful as well. A lot of folks might be watching who were Girl Scouts themselves, maybe 40 years ago, maybe 20 or 10. How has it evolved over time, and what is, what is the Girl Scout experience like today? Well, today it's still pretty similar. Our, yeah. our main goal is to be a sister to every Girl Scout. So a lot of that has still changed or has stayed the same. But, you know, technology and all sorts of stuff has changed. And, and with COVID, it was very difficult. Yeah, so we did a lot of Zoom meetings for a little while. Uh, but we are still able to help the community. We still do lots of projects. And that's that's the heart of Girl Scouts. Okay. Still a lot of skills that we learn along the way that they get rewarded for. Right? Gotcha. We love go camping. So it, it teaches them independence. And yeah. that's our, our number one goal because let's be honest for a lot of young women depending on their situation pride confidence certain skill sets may not necessarily be learned at home that is true that is true and that's what we're here for is to you know to build up their confidence their self-esteem and just to teach them that they can do just about anything that a boy can do anybody in your area in spencer port who wants to get their daughter involved or maybe even any place in the country what's the best first step how would they do that uh, just contact girl scouts girl scouts of the usa okay. there are there are troops all over the united yeah. states and actually other countries as well so okay. so that's the most important thing is just get a hold of the girl scouts there are always openings Good. I'm glad to hear that. And of course, it's cookie time. It is cookie time. We're actually just about winding down. So as you can see, we still do have some left. Mm -hmm. So please come on down and get some cookies and support the Girl Scouts. And there's a new one this year that I'm going to steal. I'm going to get a little distracted here in a minute. But <laughs> what is this one? It's called Toastier. And it's a French toast-based cookie mm -hmm. with a little layer of filling on them. Oh, <laughs> if it's half as good as it sounds, I'm all set. Who are the ladies, the young ladies back here behind us? My first is my daughter, Emily Burley. Uh, she is in Girl Scouts as well as Sarah Burley, my oldest. And then we have Claire Coffey, who is also a Girl Scout. Oh, so and part of that family. That is correct. Oh, yes, oh. we are all part of the racing family. That is correct. A lot of values and stuff they can yeah. teach. So I, I highly encourage you, if you have a young girl, what are the ages? Uh, they start in kindergarten, which is age five, okay. and they go all the way up to seniors in high school. So think about it, guys. It's a great way for them to learn. And thank you so much for coming. And I'm going to steal some of those toast jays and take those home. They're, they're not going to make it to tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you again for having us. We appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you.